There we go. I'm going to limb some of this while I'm up here just because I ain't. Uh, we'll see this 572 a little bit more in action than the 562. I want to get that other muffler on that 562 before I do uh, too much sawing with it. But I like the Husqvarna saws. Uh, you know, they're, they're a tad bit heavier, and I complain about that. And the heaviness does suck. But to me, they're a little slender. They feel a little more slender, and I like the pistol grip better, and I like their, the anti-vibe better. Like I say, the only problem I ever had with them is, and I know I've made it, and there's nothing wrong with those steel saws. Those steel saws are great saws, too. They're lightweight, got pretty good power. They're expensive, a little more expensive than the Husky. Uh, but, you know, they're all in all a good saw. The longevity, I don't know, but we'll have to see. I'll have to run these for years. I plan on keeping all these saws because uh, right now these four saws right here are my, my most favorite saws and probably uh, my two most favorite now is this 572 and uh, the 562. And if you would have talked to me three, four months ago or even two or three weeks ago before I got this saw back from Cajun, I would tell you that the 572 and the 372 which I know you get them ported, they're, they're wicked. But they're probably the pound, for, they might be the most reliable saws out there, but pound for pound, they're the weakest saw. I would have told you that. I, I told you I don't want a 572 or a 372 just because of their their weight to the power ratio. They're, they've got, they're decent on power, don't get me wrong, but they're awful heavy for the power you get. But uh, now, I wish I'd brought my 592 and we'd see where this 572 stacks up. I like this 572, and I like the 562. What I'm getting at is I can't say enough good things about these two guys and how they they done business with me, and uh, they're stand up guys, and uh, they they make a they make a good saw. Uh, I'll say this: I've ran uh, several different ported saws, and I I mean. Uh, Mastermind done really well on my 395. Of course, it's a stout saw out of the gate, but I've not ran, I've not ran a 70 cc ported saw that is stouter than this one, and I've not ran a 80 cc saw that's stouter than Aaron A. Lynch's 466 light, and I've not ran a 60 cc saw stouter than that 562 that's been ported. You know what I'm saying? Like actual, you know, that anybody's ported. These are stout saws. Uh, believe it or not, think what you want to about short blow down or whatever. And I don't know the ins and outs of it and every little thing they do, but I know they're more a uh, short blow down guy that keeps the RPMs up and the torque up in the cut. And uh, that's what works. Uh, to me, the hot, you can have a saw that turns 18,000 RPMs, but if it don't hold it in the cut, what's it matter? Yeah, it'd be good for women. But it ain't gonna be worth a crap for cutting what you're gonna use it for. You know, if you're firewood and cutting four, six inch stuff, yeah. But these big saws, I want the RPM when I'm laying on the laying on the hammer, you know, and pulling on that thing, wanting her to eat. I don't want it to bog down and, and bind up and stuff. And so, uh, you know, and I'm fixing to show you this 572 will do just as good lemon as a long blow down saw. <laughs> Make sure I got you in frame. I don't want y'all to miss stuff.
Nice for lemon. I mean, that thing is. It bore cuts extremely well. It wanted to. I put that other buffer on there to be better. Maybe tomorrow, you know. Get home tonight. I may stuff that muffler back on it because it's uh, it needs it. Uh, it's still cutting plenty good and plenty stout, uh, but it needs to breathe. I can tell that it's it's kind of choked up, and it's not him. I done it. I I just like to say I wanted to try it, and I didn't do it. To, I ain't doing it for anybody to get on there and bad mouth or. I just done it. I'm doing it for more or less my own 
Uh, oh no. Testing purposes for my other saws. Whether I need to take the time to, to wallow that on out or, you know, go forward and, and keep doing it like that. Like